Hey, 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 Ricardo. Morning, Alan. How you doing, buddy? Doing good, man. How you doing? Good, good, good. I cannot complain. It's a beautiful day, but yes. they said it's going to rain today, like after 2 or 3 o'clock, 80% chance of raining. You don't like rain? I'm not a big fan of rain. My daughter, my oldest one, she loves rain. I mean, she can walk like in a rain. She likes oh, really? rain. I'm, I love sun. <laughs> That's actually one of the reasons why I decided to move from New York was because of the fact that it, it rains, it's gray, especially during the winter months. It is not good, you know? Yeah. But, but we gotta cherish the rain. Don't you agree? I mean, it's not like we get rain every day. Or every right. Week. We got some cherishing. That's important. All right. Good morning, everyone. Uh, Kelly. Good morning. Pro, good morning. Uh, Samantha. Good morning. Uh, Susan Oliveira. Good Hi. morning. Alberto is in the house. Good morning. Uh, all right. We got uh, Angela. Angela, what's going on with your camera? No, my a laptop doesn't work after I did my update on my computer and restarted it and uninstalled and reinstalled Zoom. Let, 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 let me let me guess. It's a it's a PC or it's Mac. What is it? It's a PC, right? PC. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what happens when you update a PC. Is just uh, then you gotta like go to triage. Uh, try to figure it out. <laughs> <laughs> I tell you. Uh, Next closing, please dedicate two thousand dollars towards a, a new laptop from Mac Apple. You know, let's let's get now. Please come on, Parker. Please, yes, yes, yes. Listen, I got this piece of thing for Apple. Yeah, five years. What's the oh, I said I feel like you're a spokesperson for Apple. Every time we get on here, <laughs> talking, I love Apple too. I just believe in their product. It's a good product. You know, it's I'll take like PC over Apple ten days a week. No, 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 no. I got my first Apple product uh, last year, and it was an iPad, so I could uh -huh. do farming and screenshots. <laughs> but I don't really like Apple products. It's not in. Uh, it's not easy to use for me. It's it's just not natural. I guess I don't know. I don't. I never liked it in eighth grade. So that was many years ago. So. Okay. <laughs> eighth grade. I remember we had computers in English class or something. I feel like maybe even like sixth grade. Uh, I just don't like Apple Mac products. Computers, Mac computers from like 1990s? Yes. Okay. That's well, when I made my decision. I didn't like Apple. Things kind of changed <laughs> a bit. Right? Like, like a lot of things. <laughs> I bet you, yeah. <laughs> you know, funny thing is, I still remember uh, operating in DOS. I mean, that's how far I go back. Like remember, like DOS, Parker. You probably remember. You you, you don't remember yeah. DOS. Oh, you do remember DOS. Okay. Oh yeah, I programmed DOS. You programmed DOS. Yeah, yeah. I programmed in C, C plus plus. Man, I'm old. I tell you, I don't think they even use that stuff anymore. Oh, green screen. That's right, Kelly. Green screen. I remember those. Yep, green screens. Oh, they're green or blue. Green. green. You're colorblind, right? <laughs> yeah. All right, guys. So let's let's start. Um, how things progressing with uh, with mastering the script and objections. Are you guys working together? All right. Yes, I hear yes. Nobody's saying anything. Raise I think I missed hand. part of your audio. There was a question there I didn't hear. Oh, 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 oh. Raise your hand if you guys are working this script. Samantha, Kelly, Parker, Susan. All right. Susan, what are you doing there? Are you, You're looking down. Are you like on your phone or something like that? Just replying on the text. I'm no, gonna... no, no, no. Do me a favor. I want your, your attention. I want you to be all in for the next... Yeah. 25 minutes. That's it. 25 minutes. If you do not reply in the next 25 minutes, the, the world is not going to end. I know. <laughs> Your client is not going to find another agent. Okay? 
attention, attention, attention. All right, guys. So let's start. Hey, hey, Alberto, are we missing someone? I don't know. Um, I feel like we're missing someone here. Oh, we're missing Josh and Adrian. Really? Okay, can you just ping them and see where they at? Yeah, y'all. I'll, I'll uh, ask them right now. All right, so so let's start. So today we're going to continue with a, a role play as well as the objection. The objection that we're going to be using is just looking or just browsing. Just looking or just browsing. Uh, last week, I believe, we started with Parker, and he did a terrific job. Great job. So this week we're going to stop with Samantha, Parker's partner in crime. So she's going to be the agent, and Parker is going to be... The pesky buyer. Boom, boom, boom. Let's go. All right. <clears throat> ring, ring. This is Parker. Hi, Parker. My name is Samantha, and I work with Best Homes Real Estate. I just wanted to say thank you for joining our website on Homes Relic Search and through Facebook. I saw that you were looking at a property, 123 Worcester Ridge Road. Um, I would love to send you more information or answer any questions that you might have on this property. Okay. Um, yeah, I'd love to get some more information. To be totally honest, I'm not planning on making this move anytime soon. We're just kind of browsing at the time. Um, but I guess I could still read through some information on it. Okay. All right. So what I can do is I'll send you more information on that property. And then it's a three-bedroom, two-bath, 1,600 square feet. Were you looking at like that as a, a marker for something that you would be interested in? Um, it would meet some of the criteria we needed it when we decide to actually pull the trigger but like i said it's i don't know when that's gonna happen it might be a little bit okay all right so what i can do is i will send you more information on that property and then i will conduct a search along those lines for you and if you see something that you like we can actually go take a look at it um or i can zoom call you if you feel more comfortable with that okay i mean i guess it wouldn't hurt yeah definitely it never hurts to look. If you see something that you really like, then maybe maybe you might want to jump on the opportunity. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I, yeah. I guess we could probably do something along those lines. How fast your house is moving in your market right now? They're actually going pretty quick. So when I do send something over, I want to say within a couple of days they're usually gone. Okay. Yeah. I guess then we might as well look and be a little more active than what I'm currently looking at. Okay. Great. Where are you guys currently living? Are you in Arizona? Are you out of state? We're in Denver. In Denver. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> great. There's lots of snow there. Yeah. Yeah, there is. Yeah. Great. So Prescott's actually a great area. Um, we get four seasons. We get snow. We get a little bit of the sunshine. It's not too warm like the Phoenix area. Um, the con common misconception of Phoenix is it's a little bit warmer. So Prescott's a, a happy medium. It's a great little place to live. Do you like to hike, bike, do outdoors? Um, if it's outdoors, I'd do it. Mountain right. biking, ATV, hiking, hunting, everything. So I'm the same way. I love to be outside. I love to hike. There's some great trails out here. I love biking. Um, some cool groups that you could join here. So it's a great place to okay. be. Yeah. I'll have to have you write me a list of some of your favorite trails and some of your favorite spots. I can definitely do that. I'll send it over to you. All Perfect. Right. So price point wise, what are you looking for? Somewhere three hundred and fifty to four hundred and fifty or five hundred, probably. Then, did you have anything that you really, really wanted in a home? I would love a place to put a shop, but okay. honestly, having <clears throat> honestly having a guest room is more important than that. Okay. So that's why we would we'd really like to be three or four bedrooms. Okay. And then acreage-wise, what were you looking for? Do you want a little bit more land? Um, do you like any neighbors? Um, I don't want to pass a cup of sugar through the kitchen window, if that makes sense. Okay. Um, you know, if I if I can get an acre or two, that'd be perfect, but I don't want to be super far away from town either. Yeah. Because my wife is probably going to get a couple of teaching jobs where she'll need to be able to get in quickly. Oh, great. Okay, so I can definitely do that. There's a couple different areas um, in the Prescott Valley area. I don't know if you're familiar with Prescott, but there's Prescott Valley and then Prescott. So a couple different choices that you would have there, but I'll send you information on both of those. Perfect. Okay. All 
right, perfect, Parker. Well, I'm going to shoot you over an email. Uh, my information will be on there, my telephone number, my email address. If you have any other questions, you can feel free to reach out to me at any time. Thank you. I appreciate it. Absolutely. And if you see anything you like, I'd be more than happy to look at it for you, uh, maybe via Zoom if you'd like. Okay. Okay. All right, perfect, Parker. I'll be in touch. I'll touch base with you in about a week or so. Okay, sounds good. Thank you much. You're welcome. You have a good day. You too. Bye. Mm, bye. All right, all right, all right. So what do you guys think? I think she did good hitting the hitting the points. When did he want to move? She also made a made um, a comment about houses moving quickly so that, you know, if I find you the perfect property, we got to move quick. Yeah, I think she did great. Okay, all right. I liked her tone of voice. It really conveyed authenticity, and it was like she wanted to help. I like that a lot about that. Sam, you got a, you got a, you got a, you got a great voice. Oh, thank you. <laughs> okay. Warm and friendly. Thank you. All right. All right. Anyone else? I would say that. Um, she did a good job of trying to connect with um, interests, hiking, outside, all that. Okay, all right. But there are a couple of things that she was, uh, she had an opportunity and did she miss on those two things? What was it? What did I miss? Oh, I don't know. I'm asking you guys. You're listening. Did you get an appointment? No. Lender questions? No. No. So 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 when 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 Parker said, "Hey, you know what? We're kind of looking right now. We're we're browsing right now. We're not ready right now." So one of the key questions that you got to ask, guys, and this is this is going to be very 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 important for you. You know, is a. Hey, I completely understand. You're just looking right now. What you just rousing right now, right? So, empathy, commonality. But then, what you want to follow up with is like, you know, what needs to happen or what has to happen in order for you to be ready to buy, right? Because I don't believe Parker said anything about his time frame. I don't think he mentioned anything about the time frame. <laughs> So how do we know if Parker's going to buy something two months from now or two years from now? We don't, right? Right. Okay. So that's, that's one key question that you definitely want to ask. Every person that tells you, you know, I'm not ready, I'm thinking the future, I'm six months away, I'm two years away, your follow-up question is what needs to happen? What needs to happen from now and six months from now in order for you guys to be ready? By asking that question, you your goal is, your objective is to get to really the root of what's really holding them back from making a decision right now, from making a move right now. So that's number one. Number two, did we get a motivation from Parker? Why is he moving to Prescott from, from Colorado? Right? Don't forget, guys, two things that we got to be constantly focusing on. This is obviously aside from developing a rapport, making a connection, building that relationship, bringing value. All of those things are key components. They're very important. The two things that we really got to be constantly focusing on is their motivation and their time frame. Why is Parker moving from Colorado to Prescott? And the best way to ask that question is like, hey, you know, what's bringing you down to Prescott? What's bringing you down to Prescott? Right, so now you got the motivation by asking what needs to happen 
you're going to get a time frame. Those two things are answered. Now you know why they're moving, why they're buying in Prescott, and what is their timeline like. <laughs> Based on those two things, now you can schedule the follow-up sequence. And the follow-up sequence is, and we talked about this before, and we're going to talk about this in, in future sessions. If you got somebody who is 90 days plus, 90 days, 120 days, 160 days, 50 days, whatever it is, you are want to follow up with them every 30 days. You check on them every 30 days. So if you got somebody who is planning to move in July, and July is about six months from now, you follow up with them once every 30 days, once a month. If they're looking to move in the next 60 days, 60 to 90 days, you follow up with them every 15 days. When I say follow up, I'm talking about picking up the phone, calling them, and or texting them. And then if you got somebody who's ready to do something now, we want to follow up with them as often as possible, no less than every three days. Okay? So those two things that you guys got to constantly ask. Outside of that, you did a fabulous job. Thank you. Really good job. Right? So next time, one thing that I would suggest you do is speed up your questioning. Okay. Speed up your questioning because a lot of times you may not get someone on the phone that is going to sit there and basically tell you their life story. Okay. Okay? Okay. Good work. All right, let's continue. Um, who's next? I know last week we, we uh, had Parker. All right. Uh, Alberto, um, who's next on the list? Who do we have? Um, yeah, I know Parker went. I know Adrian went. I know um, Angela went uh, last week, as well, I mean, last time, right? Yeah. You did, right. I did. Okay, all right. So let's let's go with, with, with Kelly. No, I did it with Kelly. Uh, yeah, was, we were. Me and Kelly. Was Kelly the agent or she was a buyer? She was the buyer. She was the buyer? Okay, so let's reverse the role. So uh, Kelly is the agent, you're the buyer. Okay. Ring, ring. Hello? Hi, is this Angela? Yes. Hi, Angela. Okay, this Angela. is Kelly Jaggard from Valley Home Search and Best Homes Real Estate. I wanted to thank you for joining our website, uh, valleyhomesearch.com. How's it working for you? Oh, um, yeah, I, I think I remember uh, that site. Um, yeah, it's all right. Um, it's, hey, I, it's I fine. saw you were looking at homes in Phoenix. Um, what area of Phoenix would you like to be in? Phoenix is a big place. I know. Um, I don't know. Um, the Goodyear. Goodyear. Okay. All right. So you want to be in the West Valley? Yeah. Oh, okay. So what brings you to Goodyear? Do you live in Goodyear? Do you work in Goodyear? Got family there? Um. Yeah. I just need to uh, move out here to work, and um, I do have some family. Okay. It's nice to be near family. I know that. And it's good to be real close to work too. Um, so, hey, how how soon do you want to move uh, to Goodyear? Um, in the next month or two. In the next month or two, great, great. We've got a lot of great homes in Goodyear, but they go really fast. <clears throat> so let me ask you, what what are some of the things you're looking for in a home? Um. Probably something like three, four bedroom. Three or four bedroom, okay. All right. And like two bath, two and a half bath. Uh doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Okay. All right. Are you looking for a one story or a two story home? Preferably one. Okay. Preferably one story. Now there's a lot of great communities in Goodyear. Have you been looking in in certain communities? Certain um, subdivisions? Mm, I have a little, yeah. Okay, very good. Now, let me, if you don't mind me asking, um, have you been, have you talked to anyone about a home loan? Um, I need to. 
Okay, I've got some great resources and I can connect you uh, with some of our lenders if you'd like. Would you like that? Um, like what? What's your chance? Hop on a Zoom lender? call or a Google Hangout, uh, you know, or we can even, um, I can call right now and, and get one of my lenders to join our call. Would you like that? Wow. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. I, I work with two uh, really great lenders. One of them is Joaquin. He's right here in town and uh, he works with a lot of my clients. Let okay. me, let me, let me give him a call and, and uh, um, we'll get you, we'll get you started and we'll get the process started. Hey, if you don't mind me asking, um, is there anyone helping you with the, your uh, new home or are you, uh, you got anyone uh, helping you view homes? Um, no, actually, I haven't started that yet. Oh, okay. I would love to. I'd love to help you with that. Now, would you All like right. me to? Would you like me to call my agent now or my lender now, or would you like to make an appointment for like tomorrow? Tomorrow actually would be better for my schedule today. Okay. And what works best with your schedule, morning or evening? Uh, can you do afternoon? Afternoon? Ar around what time? Like two o'clock? Yep, that'll be fine. Okay, great. I will, I'm going to send you a follow-up email um, just stating that we're going to have this appointment tomorrow at two o'clock. Once again, my lender's name is Joaquin and um, I will get both of you on the phone. Okay? Well, great. Thank you. All right. Thank you so much, Angela. Have a great day. You too. All right, guys. What do you think? I, nice I can't overall. wait to see. Um, oh, go ahead. I said, nice job overall. Um, not sure she got a budget out of that. Um, oh, okay. Yeah. And um, the lender part, um, I think you didn't establish if she was going to pay cash or not. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Anyone else? Well, I can't believe that she asked me to get the lender on right away. That was customer service. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that, was, that was pretty good, uh, Alberto. What do you what do you what do you think? What are your thoughts, man? No, oh, yeah, I think she did a, a pretty good job overall getting the appointment. I mean, obviously, making sure that we you know we got them set on a time to follow up and get a little bit more info is great. Um, you know, that happens a lot during calls. We'll kind of set the appointment and then maybe not go back to a couple other things. Uh, but I think as long as we set it up, I mean, it, it gives us a good opportunity to circle back and get those. But obviously, ideally, we want to get that on that first, that good first solid conversation. We want to hit all those bases. But yeah, okay. I, I really like how, how Kelly kind of went into that and, and her aggressiveness, not aggressiveness, but her willingness to, you know, get someone right there on the spot and let's get this going if we need to. Um, I think we could have asked maybe a few more pre-qualifying questions to Angela before we got, you know, that far and that, that aggressive with it. Um, but if that was the case where she was ready to do something right there, right then and didn't have a lender, then obviously, yeah, that would be, that would be the ideal route to go. So what questions would you ask before you introduce uh, the lender into the conversation? Uh, I'll just ask a little bit more about her plans, um, a little bit more, you know, about how much research she has done. Cause she did say that, no, I do need to talk to a lender. So does that mean has she talked to a lender before? Does she have a time frame in mind? Did they give her a time frame before? Does she know what her credit score is? Obviously, a lender could go more into that stuff. But I mean, just you know, asking those little more detailed questions, I think will give us a lot more insight on how far they have studied. You know, and then you know, I've looked before. I tried before. I tried last year, but they said my credit score. Or they said because of a, a bankruptcy, or you know, I got foreclosed on, or you know. I mm -hmm. just don't have enough saved up, then we can introduce other aspects. Hey, you know, this lender has a great down payment assistance program, home and five program, or okay, they said you got to work on your credit. Then what time frame did they give you? Did they give you a six month time frame, a 12 month time frame? Realistically, 
do you think you can get all that done? Because sometimes the lender will put them on programs, but only the buyers know if they can actually form the way that the lender wants them to. So, right. I mean, I would have just been a little bit more detailed about how okay. much research they have done because she did say, no, I need to talk to a lender. <coughs> so obviously she wants to, but why is that? Has she talked to someone before and now she needs to talk again? Or, you know, is this her first time actually going through this? Then we might want to set up a buyer's consultation before, you know, the lender or with the lender as well. I mean, did we find out her motivation? Why is she moving to Goodyear? Yeah, for work. Yes, her job's in Goodyear, and she has family there. And where does she live now? Uh, that I didn't get. Does she own or she rent? Do we know? Do we know that? No. Okay, so we don't know if she owns or she rents, right? Mm-hmm. Okay, and what is the time frame? Um, sixty days. Okay. All right. So 60 days. Mm -hmm. So when she says that, all right, you, you definitely want to double check on, on, Hey, are you currently uh, owning a property and have to sell it? Or you're, you're renting right now. Or you're on like a one, two month lease. Your lease up. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Um, again, going back to the same question, um, you know, what needs to happen in 60 days in order for you uh, to move forward, you know, to be ready. Yeah. Okay, we, we also want to kind of find out like like um um uh, I think um uh, I think that was uh Parker um or or Josh uh, alluded to um you know the budget situation is important right you know what is your monthly budget how much are you looking to spend on a monthly basis you see a, a lot of times we ask what you know how much house do you want to buy um. I think the better question is like, you know, what do you want to pay on a monthly basis? How much? And then just reverse engineer and see how much they can qualify for. You know, um, so yeah, just having those conversations, I think definitely um, is going to give you a, a more uh, broader picture of, of where they at. Okay. Um, as far as the lender goes, I think that was a great idea. You know, um, I would definitely, like like Alberto said, have a little hook, like find out if they are planning to put some money down. Or maybe they would be interested in a, in a down payment assistance program. And when you mention about down payment assistance program, always share a quick story of how you helped uh, your client in the past where let's say they moved in into a $300,000 house or $340,000 house or even $250,000 house without putting any money down, you had the seller pay some of their seller concessions, their closing costs, and their only expense was really home inspection as well as the appraisal. Is that something that would be open to? Yeah, absolutely, I would be open to that. Great, let me connect you to one of my best lenders. He does wonders. He takes care of all of my clients. Do you have a couple of minutes available right now to get on the phone with him? We have a couple of minutes, we have just a couple of minutes, two, three minutes to get on the phone with him right now. I can do a three-way patch, okay? Or tomorrow would work for you better. Well, no, I, I think tomorrow would be, you know, would just, be better for me. Oh, great. Uh, tomorrow morning, afternoon, evening. Well, you know, I get off work at around 4 30, 5 o'clock. I should be home like at around 6. Can you guys call me at around 6 o'clock? Done. We'll call you at 6 o'clock. I'll send you a Zoom link with the invite. It's going to come from me, Kelly Jagger. Okay. And uh, Joaquin and I are going to be um, calling you or be on a Zoom call tomorrow at 6 o'clock. Okay, so you do that, you send an email, you also can send a video, by the way, quick selfie video. Thanks, Angela, appreciate your time today, enjoyed our conversation, looking forward to getting to know you a little bit more and about your plans tomorrow at 6 p.m. Okay, but good job, good job, Kelly, good job. All right, let's, let's continue. Um, who's, who's next?
let's 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 go with uh, uh, Susan and Ricardo. Okay, Susan and Ricardo. Who wants to be the agent? Who wants to be the buyer? I'll be the buyer. Uh, okay. <laughs> I guess. I guess. I guess. Uh, women first, right? Oh yes. <laughs> totally. Easy route. Such a gentleman. You're such a gentleman, my friend. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. All right, let's go. Okay. Ring, ring. Hello. Hi, may I speak with Ricardo? Uh, this is Ricardo. How can I help you? Hi, Ricardo. This is Susa from Valley Home Search. I wanted to thank you for joining our website. I noticed that you've been looking at some properties in Phoenix. How is that going for you? Uh, it's going good. I'm just uh, browsing. I'm just looking what's available right now. I see. I hear you. You know, so many of my buyers, they do that. And that's how we started. You know, it's the process. That's how I started too. looking at my houses when I bought my house, just going and browsing on the Internet. And um, so I want to, you know, is it a good time right now to talk to you? Because I wanted to talk to you about what you're looking and see how I can help you with the website. Yeah, yeah, that's a good time. Okay, so what is it that you're looking into Phoenix? What What do you want to say in Phoenix? Are you in Phoenix or are you in another city? No, I, I live in Phoenix. You do? Okay, yes. where do you live around? Well, um, my wife is a teacher assistant and she uh, she works in Phoenix, so I need to stay in Phoenix. I see. Um, what did she teach? What area? What school? Um, like in... Uh, Central Phoenix. Central Phoenix. Yeah. Okay, because I grew up close to Central Phoenix. That's why uh, I was asking. Oh, okay. Yeah, so what grade that you teach? Um, fifth grade. Fifth grade. Wonderful. Okay. I have my son is on fifth grade. Oh. Do you guys have any kids? Yes, we do. How many? They got two. How old are they? My daughter's 11 and my son is 22. Oh, I see. Okay, that's a big gap. Yes, it is. <laughs> Fun. So my daughter is 14 and my son is 11. So, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's really fun. So are you guys looking uh, for a three-bedroom, two-bathroom? Yes, yeah, something with more space. Uh, oh. We're currently currently renting a, a two-bedroom uh, oh, oh. little house. Uh-huh. And I, I'm just uh, thinking to buy, but I don't want to pay that much. So oh, that's why. Probably... Right now. Yes. How much are you paying? Oh, uh, we're paying uh, 900 900 Okay. Yes. And you want to stay in the same budget or a little bit more? What? I don't want to pay, pay more than 1200 $1, More than 1200 Okay, got you. Okay, so three bedrooms, two bedrooms. And uh, are you right now in a contract with uh, the apartment? Or what is your time frame? It's a month to month. Month to month. Okay. Okay, that works. Okay. All right. Um, and how? Um, so you said three bedrooms, two bedrooms. Are you looking for a pool or just? No, yeah. I think a it's one story, two story. One story, no pool. One I story. mean, if I can get something with a pool at that price, I'll, I'll do it. Okay. But I doubt it. Yeah, well, you know, right now um, it all depends what you're looking for but i can definitely customize the search for you and send you a list a list of homes so you can take a look um and then from that you know we can go um so let me ask you a little bit um a little bit more um about um your payment you said you don't want to go up to 1200 so have you talked to anybody about uh regarding payments and how much you, you know you can afford a house no i haven't you haven't okay okay because I work with wonderful lenders, so that could be an option for you to try. And, you know, we can get on a call with them um, and do a three-way call. We can set a Zoom meeting, too, and we can talk to them about that process uh, for you. So that way, you know, your wife is also on the call and we can connect and we can talk about it. Um, but uh, that's an option for you. Um, and, you know, we can talk a little bit more about, too, the buying process. Okay, sounds good. This is your first time buying a house? I didn't ask you that. Yes, this is my first time. 
so wonderful. I get so excited when I get I, I help first time buyers. You know, like a lot of my transactions that I'm doing are first time home buyers. So it's really exciting. And I remember when I bought my house, I get really excited when I first time home buyer. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So I would love to help you in this process. Have you talked to anyone about um, helping you getting a house? No, my friend was going to recommend me uh, somebody that helped him. Okay. But uh, they haven't called me. Okay. Okay. I see. Okay. So this is a good time then. Okay. So would it be okay um, to jump on a call right now or um, what is the best time? To set up. Well, uh, I have stuff to do right now. Okay. Uh, I'll be available tomorrow afternoon if you guys have time. Okay, we'll do that. Um, tomorrow afternoon, I'm going to send you an email and you're also going to get a video. So that way you can share it to your wife and you guys, you know, could get to see my face. <laughs> and um, um, so tomorrow when we spoke, you know who it is that is coming from me. And, uh, you know, we'll talk about uh, the buying process. If you guys have any questions, uh, you know, we can talk more about it tomorrow. And I'm going to try to set up that meeting too uh, with my lender, if you are okay with that. So that way, you know, just in, it's, it's an initial consultation. Um, so you guys, you know, can ask you questions about um, uh, the budget and you know what is the process and he'll be able to do some more about that um, he's probably going to ask you a few questions about your credit score too because they take a look at your credit score um, to see you know how much you will uh, um, so uh, you know I'm just mentioning a few things for you to have in mind tomorrow so that way we can talk with them but if you have any questions in the meantime just feel free to reach out, send me a text. I'm gonna send you a text um, and you'll get an email from me too and we'll have it in there. Okay, sounds good. Okay, perfect. Thank you so much, have a great day. You too, thank you. Bye-bye. All right, all right, all right. I tell you, uh, Susan, I mean, you're like a, a, a bundle of, of happiness and joy and, 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 and beautiful <laughs> energy. <laughs> I tell you, I just, I just, I just wish all of the, of the collection people and creditors would be the same way, you know. Their conversion rates would be through the roof, you know, collecting money. Uh, I mean, you did a phenomenal job, a really, really good job, um, and I'm sure everybody here would agree with that. Yes, good job, Susan. Yes. Couple, of, couple of things, though, just a couple of minor things, and I think you can definitely because, and I think it's coming from you because you're such a nice person, such a great human being. Uh, when you did the intro, you said, is it a good time? Okay. Ask that question. Okay. If you ask that question, that gives them <laughs> an opportunity to say, no, it's not a good time. Okay. <laughs> so never, ever, ever ask that question. Okay. okay. I know for you, it's hard because you respect their time, but it's also your time, right? Yeah. You're reaching out to them. You're trying to help them. You're the best agent in the world, right? You're doing your job. Right, so don't ask them, is it a good time? Okay, Another it's hard to do that because you ask your friend that. I know, <laughs> I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. And then the, the second thing at the end, I think you were kind of going through like more details as far as like a uh, they're gonna talk about your credit score, this and that, not talk about that stuff because okay. if, if they have a crappy credit score, they're like, oh shit, tomorrow I'm gonna talk about my crappy credit score. Oh, no. okay. And they want to they, they wanna hear something great. They want to hear the fact that you're going to help them with their new home purchase, like their first time home buyers. And you're going to be like a magician, <laughs> a magician getting them a house. Okay. Okay. Got it. Yeah. Okay. That's it. Two things. All right. All right, let's continue, guys. I gotta go. go. I got a, a 9:40 phone call, uh, but uh, Alberto is gonna take over for the next uh, five or ten minutes or so, and uh, we got a couple more people to go. Right? Let's get All it right. done. Okay. Thank you, guys. We're going. I just want to say that when she got to the, uh, have you ever owned a house? And then it became a first time. That was like pretty big, right there. Because that opens the door to a lot of things that, you know, we could help you with. Yeah. So probably I should have asked that a little more at the beginning. 
right? Like when, like when it was, I don't want to spend much and I'm paying this much right now. Mm -hmm. And then it would be, have you ever owned a home? And then first time, and then it would all fit together, right? Perfect. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, definitely. I, I definitely agree. Did anyone else want to add on to any of that? Yeah. Um, I don't remember the exact words that happened, but when you asked the question, um, are you first time home buyer? And then he said, yes, you got super excited and you like to help home time buyers. It was like a, you know, you're throwing in some references and stuff. And then you asked if he was like working with someone or having someone help him. So my friend was going to um, refer me to someone. I think that you just were like, oh, you, you said something that was more like, oh, I'm still going to help you. I'm, we, I'm still, you still had control of the conversation and didn't let that bother you. I don't know how, I don't remember the words you used, but you rolled right off of it. I was like, okay, dang, like you're going to just help him. <laughs> do you guys does anybody remember what you said or what she said oh, I, I think i said oh i would like i would like still to help you you know i'll send you i'll make a list of process for you so you can take a look at it and i just like <laughs> i just continue the conversation <laughs> yeah like it's just nobody go okay yeah that's cool and i'm here to help you too kind of it, it wasn't even like it, it wasn't even an issue or a big deal or anything like that like and he might not, since you're already there helping them, he might not even mention it to his friend. You guys are going to be down the road a week or two later after appointments and stuff. And, oh, I'm already using someone. So it just was, I don't know, perfect time to, to get in there. Um, one of the things that I thought of, um, I think at the end, like, um, get, off the, get off the phone or, or whatever faster. Because... I don't know, like, if it's like, oh, you're going to send out a call, text, email, this, that, whatever. Just be like, we'll be in touch, and I'll send you this, and then that's it. Like, I would just be faster with that. Yeah. Um, like that's that. what I noticed. But, I mean, we're just practicing, you know. <laughs> I noticed, too, that um, there was a lot of personal development between you and the client, and um, – you didn't actually find out their motivation for moving. So um, we learned that the client's wife was a teacher in central Phoenix, and that's cool, but we don't know why she moved to Phoenix. Where are you from? Why are you moving? Um, that sort of thing. Oh, they were living in Phoenix. They wanted to stay in that area. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah and I think they were. That we had to tell us later on that they were renting. But yes. no, I, I think that's a great point to, to what Josh is making is that sometimes we do get answers to other questions by asking a completely different question. And, and that's why it's important when we have these conversations to write it down as we go down. So that way, you know, if we do have to go back and ask that question, we can see, did they already answer it in one way or another? You know, or like Josh said, if there's another reason for it, then we can say, hey, OK, so there's the missing piece there. You know, what's what's that info? And then maybe press a little bit more on that. But no, absolutely, yeah. Wh whenever we do forget to ask that direct question, well, what about this? We want to make sure we did get that answer. And in this, in Susan's case, in this conversation, she did get that eventually, that they were renting, they were paying 900 where they were renting in Phoenix, and they had a couple of kids, so they wanted a little bit more space, but they didn't want to spend more than 1200 You know, so it wasn't a direct, you know, I want to upsize, but that's kind of where that was kind of going. Okay. Yeah. But no, absolutely. If, if we don't have that straight up answer, we should definitely ask it, you know, just to, to reinforce. Uh, but no, I, I think overall you did a great job. Um, anybody else have any other feedback or, you know, did we, did we get all our points in? Good job. Awesome. Awesome. Well, I know you guys got to run. Um, we're doing uh, just a reminder, me and Tristan, we're going to hop on uh, zoom. It's not mandatory. You guys don't have to be there for the whole two hours because we did do it for two hours. You do not have to be there for the entire two hours, but we're gonna, uh, we put the Zoom link right there on the Slack app. So we're gonna be there from one to three. Tristan's gonna start off the first few minutes just kind of going through some of the basic sync stuff. So if you're having issues with sync, if you're having issues with some of the basic stuff, just getting it set up so you're brand new, definitely hop on for the first 30 minutes. That's uh, where Tristan's gonna hit a lot of those basics uh, and a lot of the Q and A's. I know he got some submitted in the last couple of days. I got I got some questions submitted in the last couple of days. If you guys have anything in particular you want to discuss, 
make sure you text it to me or message me on Slack so that way I can make sure I touch uh, base on that during today's call. But again, it's going to be from one to three. You don't have to be there for the full for the full two hours, but I am going to be making calls live, kind of showing you how we go through the script and also how we go through the system when we actually do go through the Allen Pond, Joe Fish lead and start you know, integrating into our personal list. So hopefully you guys can be there. If you guys don't have that link, um, let me know, but I posted it on Slack, so hopefully you guys all have it. If you can't be there, I'm pretty sure Tristan's gonna record it like we do all classes, and you'll be able to watch it later. All right, guys, but aside from that, have a good one. Let's make some calls, set some appointments, and uh, hopefully I'll see some of you guys later. Thank you. Sounds good, right, thank, thank you. you. See you guys.